All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So I apologize about this video being late. I got super busy. I was super busy on Tuesday. I put it out a tweet saying that this video is going to be late. I put it on Facebook. This video is going to be late. But yeah, Tuesday was a super busy day for me. Life has just been hectic. It's been busy. I lost a job, getting a new job. And uh, thank you guys for just being so cooperative with me that, you know, despite all my busyness with life and school and work and everything, that I'm still trying to get you guys your content. So thank you guys for continuing to support, and I will continue to uh, get you guys your content. So, anyway, let's get hop right back into it to some more uh, Tackle 5. So I came over to here. It's nighttime now, and we have Crow, both Crow and Jack here. So uh, we can talk to them, we can duel them, and that's probably what we're just going to go ahead and uh, do in this episode is pretty much just talk and duel against Jack and Crow and stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and talk to Jack. So, you, what brings you here? So, uh, I really, I, first I want to talk about people of interest, because you have an interest in uh, Akiza, then maybe you can tell me. Yes, you do. Awesome. So hopefully uh, you can tell me where the hell she's at so I can find her more often, because I kind of want her as a tag partner. I don't really want you. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe after we duel, but I just don't see you being too strong. Yeah. Yeah, you're challenging me, Jack Atlas, to a duel? Alright, I accept. Because this is before you got your new support. You know, this is before you got that good-ass red resonator and stuff. So, I'm, I, you know, I'm kind of wondering. This is this is even before Scar Wright. And Scar Wright, I mean, you were much, you were, of course, much stronger in V than you are in, in uh, 5D. So, uh, oh, wow, I said I wanted to go second. Oh, oh, that, that's a habit after playing uh, Legacy of Bills. I definitely want to go first because I want that, you know, that plus, you know. This is before the rule change. Well, Legacy is an actor, so oops. <laughs> I mean, at least I get to attack first, but still, you know, he is going to have another card to work with than he would usually have to work with. So, all right, Jack, so what you got? If you bust out that motherfucker uh, archery in first turn, I'd be impressed. I'd be really impressed. Or you can just set a monster face down like I thought you would. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, maybe Jack will blow me away. Maybe he'll be like, um, yeah, this is the reason why I'm good. But right now, I do not see it. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and summon my Gladiator Beast monster and attack over your, uh, your monster. Simple as that. Yeah. Uh, was it can't be destroyed a battle once per turn or something like that? So, I mean, that's one way to. Oh shit! I didn't mean to hit end turn. I wanted to hit the set. Oops. Oops. Definitely messed up there. Wow! Then just set another monster. All right, Jack. So once per turn, it can't be destroyed by battle, right? God, he has a crap ton of back row. They freaking go and packs and pull a freaking heavy storm. Like that's what I fucking need. I guess I'll just summon Garoth and pack. Like, Jack, are you gonna, like, synchro summon? So I guess we'll just both go after this one. Yeah, I know. He can't be destroyed by battle, but it's only once. So now I'll attack a second time and you're gone, right? Unless you have back row? Nope. Wow, you have four sets. Four fucking sets. And nothing back there can protect your freaking, uh, your resonator, huh? Like, what the fuck do you have in... What is this? Wow, Jack. Jack, my boy. Like, what is it? Like, usually I would, you know, I would try to go after your back row and, you know, try to pop it with uh, Lila, but it doesn't seem like there's anything back there. It doesn't seem like there's anything back there, which is fine, you know. If you had a mirror force, you would have played it already. Oh, right. I forgot you had, like, that small piece golem, big, medium piece golem, big piece. I forgot you had that in 5Ds. It's been a while since I've seen 5Ds. Oh, my God. Battle fader. Of course. Yes, fuck boy. That's fine. Yes. Arise! Chicken and eyes. Oh my god. Yes, that's fine, Jack. So, um, I don't know what to talk about in this video. I mean, I guess, I guess I can go ahead and talk about Vrain. So someone asked my opinion about Vrain, and I said I was going to talk about it eventually. I'm not going to create a separate video about it, so I said I was going to talk about it in the next episode of Attack Force 5, so I'll talk about it. What did I think about Vrain? The first episode of Vrain. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, Yusaku's a badass. Like, I... Like, so far, I mean, he's only one episode, but he's easily, just from his first appearance, the first episode, he's easily in my top three favorite uh, main protagonists. Like, he reminds me a lot of Yusei, but even a little bit more sarcastic, more snooty, more, like, I've been there, done that kind of attitude, and I, and I love it. I fucking love it. So, uh, so far, I, I, I mean, thumbs up. Uh, it was a lot of conjecture in the episode, a lot of, like, you should know this, but how would I know this kind of thing, you know? Like, 
that didn't seem like the first episode. That seems like maybe like, you know, like the maybe like the tenth or eleventh episode. There's a lot of, dude, stop with the fucking battle faders, you dick. Holy shit. It was funny, I said I was I wanted to set that kunai whip chain and I haven't said it since. Like, wow. You know? Well, I guess I'll go ahead and set it now, you know. If you want a heavy storm, more power to you, my boy. You know? Your four cards for my two? Sure. Well technically five, you'd be taking super neck. You know, and I got of course I got one of my win condition cards, my skill drain. But Jack, you are not doing anything. You're literally just sitting here stalling with battle fader, my boy. Like, dude. Like yes, cause I totally want a tag partner who's just gonna sit there with fucking battle fader. Damn. No, I, I don't. I, I don't even want to pop the back row. There's nothing to pop back there. There's nothing. Really, I just want to attack for game. I want to end this duel. This fucking boy's been stalling for way too long. He has another fucking battle fader. I swear to Christ. Like, can I please get at least a little bit of damage? If you had a mirror force, you would have played it already, right? Oh my God, fucking. All right, that's fine. More tokens. Shit. More blocking. Like, wow, Jack. Wow, Jack. Usually I say best two out of three. I'm not even sure if I want to fucking duel you again. It's literally all you do is just block attacks. Like, I do it against a girl who is playing fucking, um, fucking Destiny board and she didn't stall out as hard as you, Jack. Like, calm the fuck down, fuck boy. Watch them all be fired to Doomsday. Watch them all be fucking fired to Doomsday. I will fucking be livid as hell. Can I finally get some damage in? Yes, finally. Shit. Yes. Might as well banish some shit. I don't need those two. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of like, oh, oh, you know, we have to, we're the, we're the knights, oh, we're the chess pieces, we're talking. And the whole episode, they're like looking for this Ignis, and you know, the entire episode, you're sitting there like, who the fuck is Ignis? And at the other episode, it's like, oh, I'm Ignis. Like, oh, that would have been a little bit of better if conjecture if you would have been like, Hey, this is the guy we're looking for. This is Ignis. And put him on the screen because, you know, it's kind of hard to connect the beginning of the episode to what was going on, especially since he was, like, years later. Like, what the fuck was Ignis doing for all that time, you know? Just floating around in, in the cyber world or whatever? It's like, being weird? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I also didn't like that they didn't duel. Like, that's probably one of my biggest gripes. Yeah, I didn't mill any light swords. There's barely any light swords in here. Oh, right, I forgot. You also mill an additional two. And if he mills a light sword, then I can draw cards. I just milled some cards for no reason. Oh, I mean, Jack stalls me out and decks me out. That would suck, so. I'm gonna say you got a new set card. Oh, fuck boy. Um, I'm gonna destroy that new set card with Lila because everything else wasn't a threat, so. Middle one. Was it anything? No, it's just a call of haunting. You didn't have any monsters in your in your graveyard anyway, so. Uh, can I end this duel? Like, like Jack, this duel was fucking terrible, man. Why should be another fucking Resonator or Kevy throw a battle or something? No? Doesn't seem like it. Not that Resonator anyway. Like, Jack, like, no. No, I said you got a lot better in Arc V. Here, you're, you're not looking so great. You're not looking so great, my boy, so. I guess that's uh, get us game. At least it should be, unless one of your three set cards. I guess I have no idea what you have set. No, let me activate my set. Just attack for a game. Even if he has a call to haunt it, it's still game. Like I don't care. Oh, it was limit reverse. I guess I should have activated Kaiku's skin condition. I mean, you're just summoning the monster in attack position, right? Yeah. So redeclare. Attack. Game. There, dude, that was, that was super easy. Like, damn, Jack. He didn't do anything to me. Like, lack courage. Freaking lack anything in your fucking deck. I don't know what the fuck that was, man. Ah, best two out of three, my boy. Best two out of three. Like, that was just, I need, I need the money, you know? I got, I got that new pack, uh, the, the Master of Spells, I think, with Heavy Storm. Like, if I can pull a Heavy Storm, that'd be great, because I need one. I would love to pull a Heavy Storm. I pulled an MST. Oh, I forgot to edit my deck and put the MST in. Ah, uh, shit. Got to put the MST in, my boys. I forgot to put it in. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, my god. Oops.
All right, maybe you can do better this game. Like, if you could just summon freaking Archfiend, I'd be happy. All right, R, that's fine. No, I don't need to look at alert. I know what alert does. But yeah, it's just disappointing they didn't actually duel in the episode. The, I, I, it, I think it's weird. You know, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. This is your first episode. This is your fifth. You know, this is this is the beginning of your show, and you don't even play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I get that you have a lot of world building, a lot of story building. Sure, sure. Take that neg, my boy. Take that neg. Take that neg. Hope it was worth it. Sure. Wow. Like, if you were just gonna plan on torrential tributing, no matter what I summoned, then how come you just didn't not send monster and let me, you know, kind of think I'm gonna kind of you directly? And then you could at least even doubt at the immediate, at the minimum. So, in the meantime, you control beeps. Okay, so you don't. So, there's nothing. It's just a 16 beater. Like, that's fine. I'll take the You actually did damage to me. Holy shit, Jack. Congratulations. You literally did more than you did the entire previous duel. That's saying something, too. Oh, I got Avarus, and I have a nice chunk of monsters, too. I'm just gonna do this tornado. I don't need one fucking deal with it. No. I mean... Sure. Sure. Sure, I'll set this. Why not? I was just gonna set it anyway. Took one two monsters from Gary Buffett, so it's fucking gated, blah blah blah, alright, whatever. Uh, let's go with Kaiku the skin condition. Alright, tap. So yeah, you know, it's just weird that I, I get that you you're doing a lot of world building and all that, but you still should at least play Yu-Gi-Oh. But I guess they were like, okay, we'll just save the duel for the next episode. Like, Arc V's first duel wasn't that great, so I guess I understand. But still, you know, still I still understand. Ah, <sighs> are you actually about to do something? You actually about to synchro summon, or are you just gonna just sit there? Oh, oh. Okay. So you're gonna take my monster and sync with it, I guess. That's that's fine. Is it sync seven? Yeah. That's actually a pretty good play, Jack. I see you. I see you. I see you. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh-huh. One two turn one don't turn turn this card to card in the attack, you can switch to attack and defense of all face on your opponent controls until the end of the battle phase. Okay, sure. You got a boost too? Um, ah, I see you, Jackie boy. I see you. Hey, you, 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 you're kicking butt right now. You're kicking butt. Too bad I got shrink, so. Yes, and I believe that's only when it declares an attack, right? When this card declares an attack, yeah. So, I can shrink you, and then I know plus the shrink, I'll definitely be stronger than you, so. Alright, big boy. I will decline an attack and activate shrink. Shrink. And you're dead. Hey! Oh, I am having issues with CPU and coding and stuff right now. I'll, to, I'll check up on it after this episode. This episode's almost done anyway. And Jack can come back, you know? Nah, looks like he's about to come defensive. Looks like that's all he got. The sad thing is, he he had to take one of my monsters to pull off a good synchro or something. Like, that's sad. That's sad, Jackie boy. You had to fucking use my shit. So, summon Breaker. Breaker would get a token. Course cup. So, I want more Breakers. Like, I, I, I love Breaker. I like Breaker much more than I like Lila, at least. I know that for damn sure. Oh, uh well. -uh, that'll float. Oh, he just gets to search for another Dread Dragon. I mean, it's still plusing, but it's not like it's floating on the field. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing that I usually do with my computer, but yet I'm still dropping the point. Like I said, maybe it's something running in the background. It seems like the CPU usage is a little bit higher than normal. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Chapel. <laughs> Bye. So, um, is that game, fuckboy? It still might be game. 
All this, if all this taxes. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna say if I can go for game. I forgot this fuckboy plays Battle Fader. So he might just Battle Fader. Nope, nope. Look like he's taking it. I didn't do the math, but I think this is game. Yeah, this should be game. So all, all three of these guys attack. Uh, that's another. I mean, he did much better than the last duel. You know, he got me down to thirty-five, but I still don't think I would like Jack as my tag partner, not even the slightest. So. Wow, and I got a lot less money during the second duel. Yep, a lot less money. Yep. Alright, so. There we go, beat Jack. He told me where he's at, so. We did things, but still. Like, Jackie boy, Jackie boy, Jackie boy. That, that was nothing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call it episode. Like I said, I gotta go ahead and edit, render, and upload this video for you guys to at least make sure it gets up on Tuesday. So, I will see you guys back here on Thursday with another episode. We'll probably just duel against Crow. See if he knows about Akiza, see if we see Akiza, and um, go buy some packs. Yeah, that's what the next episode So Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this episode of Yu Gi Oh! Attack Force 5. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Um, and, you know, like I said, I told you guys these videos are going to be late. I told you on Facebook and the official Yu Mastery link, the link is in the description, or Twitter. I'm not, if you want to follow me on social media, I don't use them too much, but, you know, it's good to get informed when, you know, when YouTube is not the best option. So, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.